all right hey everyone so this is my second update video uh, so if you were able to watch my first video or you follow me on Twitter uh, you would know that I went into the hospital for brain surgery to have a tumor removed on December 31st so New Year's Eve of 2018 and it's been a while since I gave an update I've actually recorded this video two or three times now and I keep having problems I don't really know how to do uh, the video editing stuff yet uh, but we're working on it and hopefully this one will work better uh, so I just wanted to give an update um, so we went in for a follow-up with my neurosurgeon probably like 10 days after the surgery uh, when we went in I was having some blood clotting issues that were causing me to have shortness of breath. So they were afraid that I had some clots in my lungs potentially. Fortunately, I didn't, but I did get readmitted to the hospital for three more days. So Mrs. Medio and I spent three more days in the hospital uh, to get that blood clotting situation figured out. They've got me on drugs now to stop the clotting so hopefully that is in our rearview mirror we can move forward from there fortunately though at that meeting we did get the pathology on the tumor which is just uh, the test they run to determine why I got a tumor or where, what the source of the tumor was and whether it's cancerous or not unfortunately we got about the worst news possible uh, on the tumor the tumor is what they call a grade 4 glioblastoma uh, which means that it is brain cancer uh, grade 4 is the worst which means it's very aggressive they fully expect that it will be coming back and it's just a matter of time that's that's essentially the prognosis with this type of tumor the cancer is very aggressive that means we need to start treatment as soon as possible as soon as possible in this type of situation does mean there is a decent amount of work that needs to be done prior to starting treatment as far as uh, setting up the radiation schedule setting up the chemotherapy making sure everything is right for my body type my how how big I am a male that I'm 32 all of it all of it matters as far as how the treatment will go and so uh, it will be a few weeks until we get there since I'm now recording this several weeks after we got that news we we do know the treatment schedule so I am starting radiation for the cancer on February 14th so Valentine's Day uh, it will be twice two days that week so the Feb February 14th and February 15th and then we will do five days, Monday through Friday, every week for five weeks thereafter. And then I think a few days in the final week. Um, so it is a six-week treatment. Mrs. Medio and I are going to be traveling to St. Louis for that treatment. We decided to stick with Barnes Jewish Hospital. It's a great hospital in uh, St. Louis. So we've been very happy with the care that we're getting there. Uh, so we are going to do our first round of radiation there. Unfortunately, they do not have any clinical trials. Um, so quickly about clinical trials. So clinical trials are new types of treatment that they are testing for um, the cancer that you have. And so they can be um, a little bit risky uh, because they don't know exactly what's going to happen when they're doing a new type of treatment. Uh, there's also a chance you get in a placebo group, uh, so they give you, they tell you you're getting the treatment, but you don't actually get the treatment. Um, so that is also a possibility. The good thing about a placebo group is, at the very worst, you're getting the best treatment you would have gotten had you not in, had you not joined the clinical trial. Um, so we are very interested in clinical trials. Uh, life expectancy with this type of cancer is not very good and so with so much of my life ahead of me I mean we were fully anticipating having another 50 years together um, we want to be a little aggressive you know we want to take a chance uh, if there's a clinical trial that could potentially cure this then we are more than willing to take that chance I'm not looking for clinical trials that are going to extend my life for three months or six months 
that doesn't interest me. Uh, I, you know, taking a life expectancy from, you know, 12 months, 15 months to two years Mm -hmm. doesn't make a whole lot of difference in the grand scheme of things to me. I want to live a long life. Um, So we are willing to take chances. That's why we went to, um, you know, we're, we're, being very aggressive with our diet we went completely Mm plant-based we are trying to do everything we can to fight this cancer Mm -hmm. so we're gonna stay strong you guys have been an amazing support system for me it's really made me want to fight even harder and that's exactly what we're going to do Mm -hmm. we are going to fight this with everything we've got as far as surgery recovery goes i am basically back to being able to do most of the stuff I was able to do around the house. Uh, I cannot go back to work yet. I can't drive. Uh, my my mind is, it feels pretty sharp, but there's no way I could do my job currently. Uh, I I just, I don't have the, the mental stamina uh, to work a, a very mentally intensive job for eight hours. There's no way I could do that. Um, I can barely stay awake for longer than two or three hours at this point. Uh, So I will not be going back to work for a while. Other than that, uh, when we're we're traveling to St. Louis during weekdays, I would not expect anything as far as my YouTube or my streaming goes. Maybe some YouTube. Maybe some YouTube. I do have some a backlog of stream videos that I can use to make videos and mess around with editing and stuff like that and learn how to do this. Uh, But as far as streaming goes, I will not have my streaming set up in St. Louis, and then we'll be back here on the weekends. But since I'm going through chemo and radiation, I don't anticipate having any energy to do streams. So I'll be hanging out in other people's streams. Uh, Still love this community, love all of you. Appreciate all of the support we've been getting. Uh, But as far as Twitch goes, once radiation starts on February 14th, I would not expect a whole lot from me on that front. Maybe we'll be able to do some YouTube stuff. Do I do enjoy it. It's been fun. I can't figure it out. I can't figure out how to do these basic videos where I'm just talking into the camera. Uh, But hopefully we can figure that out at some point. So again, all I want to say is um, all of the messages that you guys send, even if I don't respond know that I'm reading them and they mean the world to me. I am, uh, I can't do this on my own. The support has been incredible. Uh, Mrs. Medio appreciates it as well. She knows that it puts me in a better mood uh, when I'm hanging out with you guys. So I appreciate everybody. Uh, You guys are awesome. Look for our next update, uh, probably closer to the time that I'm starting radiation or chemo will, will get uh, another update out here maybe do like a, a tour of our apartment that we're going to be staying in or something like that that might be fun um, but other than that appreciate all of you thank you thank you thank you I cannot say that enough uh, appreciate all of you we out